Hello everyone, my name's John and I work for Praetorian Technologies and um, this is a quick introduction to the first video uh, in a series of videos about um, our applicator. You may know the applicator in a different colour scheme, so uh, in our older version it was grey with the black inside, um, fully black now and has um, a number of new features and a number of updates. But this is a quick introduction to the first video in which I show you how to connect the applicator. Um, the applicator is a switch access device for iPad and Android devices and iPhone, and it allows you to switch adapt your usage of that, that device um, and many, many other things. But I'm not gonna ruin it with an intro, so I'm gonna go straight into how you connect your applicator. Uh, and get cracking with it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do with, with any device really, the applicator is a Bluetooth device, as you can see, no wires at all. Um, you'll need to connect it to the Bluetooth. So, um, one of the newest features in the, in the new uh, applicator is sleep mode, and this is to obviously enable you to be able to turn it off so the buttons don't get pressed in bags, etc, etc. Um, but to wake up your device, it's as simple as pressing any button, or in this instance, just press the on-off button again. You get the swirling, uh, swirling lights there to show that it's pairable and being and woken up to, to look for something to pair to. Um, so, uh, one of the simplest methods, there is a, a number of methods you can connect it to Bluetooth, but simply go into the Bluetooth menu, which is here in your settings, you'll get the device come up here with its own spe specific code for the device. Um, simply tap on it. And it can take a little while, 10 to 20 seconds sometimes, but when you get the swirling lights disappear, uh, that's when it's paired. So there we are, connected in the Bluetooth menu, and the swirling lights have gone off on the LED display. So now we need to plug in our switches and give them operations. <laughs> 